Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 6 subject science in the chapter number 7. Chapter name is getting to know plants. In the previous video we have seen two, two parts, part 1 and part 2. Today we will see part 3. In the part 2 we have completed up to main 7. Now today in part 3 we study main 8. Started from main 8. Explain giving scientific reasons. Two marks each. Question. Number one. We feel cool in the shade of a tree even at noon. Answer is while in the shade of a tree we escape from sunlight. The leaves of the tree give off water in the form of, uh, in the form of vapor from the stomata on their surface. As a result, the atmosphere near the tree remains cool and we feel cool in the shade of a tree. Now see the next page. See the question number 2. Leaf is known as the kitchen of the plant. Answer is photosynthesis takes place in the leaves with the help of a green pigment present in them. They prepare their food in the presence of sunlight using water absorbed by the roots and carbon dioxide from air. Thus, a leaf is responsible for producing of food of a plant. Hence, leaf is called the kitchen of a plant. Question number 3. Flowers have colors and have fragrance. Answer is, flowers are generally very colorful and fragrant. So, as to attract insects, insects are very important in bringing about pollinations. They carry away pollens on their bodies. When they visit another flower of the same kind, some of the pollens lands on the stigma of that flower and brings about pollinations. Now see main 8. Give two points of difference, two marks each. Number 1. Distinguish between root and the stem. Point 1. Generally it grows under the soil and stem generally it grows above the soil. Number 2. It absorbs water and mineral salts from the soil and here it transports the absorbed water and minerals from the roots to the leaves and different parts of the plant. Now see the question number 2. Herbs and shrub. Distinguish between herbs and shrubs. Point 1. Its height is less than 4 feet. 4 feet. And here shrub height. Its height is 4 to 6 feet. Number 2. Its stem is soft, green and tender. And its stem is thicker and stronger than that of a herb. Number 3. Its lifespan is a sort. And here its lifespan is a more than herbs and shorter than trees. Now see the next page. Number 3. Distinguish between taproot system and fibrous root system. Point 1. It has a main root and many branches arising from it. And here it does not have any main fruit but has many thin small roots. Number 2. It grows very deep in the soil and here it does not grow very deep in the soil. Number 3. Dicot plants have taproot system and here monocot plants have fibrous root system. Number 4. Distinguish between reticulate venations and parallel venations. Point 1. If the veins are arranged net like on both the sides of a midrib, the venations is called reticulate venation. And here if the veins in a leaf are parallel to each other, the venations is called parallel venation. Point 2. Dicot plants have leaves with reticulate venations and monocot plants have leaves with parallel venations. Number 5. Sepals and petals. Distinguish between sepals and petals. Number 1. They are green in color and petals, they may have many colors. Number 2. They are present outside the sepals and here petals, they are present outside, inside the, not outside, they are present inside the sepals. Now see the distinguish between stamen and pistil. Number 1. It is the male reproductive organ of a flower and here pistil is the female reproductive organ of a flower. Point 2. The main parts of a stamen are anther and filament and pistil 
the main parts of a pistil are stigma style and ovary maintain classify four marks each number one classify the following plants into herb shrub and tree first of all the plants given neem tulsi china rose guava banyan vinca maize mango oleander rose hina asopalo pomegranate marigold custard apple bajri acacia and people here the herbs are tulsi vinca maize rose marigold and bajri these are the herbs shrubs are china rose oleander hina pomegranate and custard apple and tree trees are neem guava banyan mango asopalo acacia and people see so the number 2 classify the following plants into tap roots and fibrous root system first of all the plants are mango wheat vinca maize tulsi banyan bamboo neem sugarcane tamarind coconut china rose and jowar tap roots are mango vinca tulsi banyan neem tamarind and china rose and fibrous roots are wheat maize bamboo sugarcane coconut and jowar <coughs> see the number 3 classify the following plants on the basis of arrangement on veins into parallel venation or reticulate venation plants are wheat banana tulsi china rose sugarcane banyan maize neem bamboo cinnadon cinnodon people and mango parallel venations are wheat banana sugarcane maize bamboo and cinnadon and reticulate venations are tulsi china rose banyan neem people and mango here we will stop here and we will see the main 11 in the next video stay safe stay healthy okay bye